quiet night in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, when suddenly a horde of pit bulls, crazed with testosterone and bloodlust, launched an attack on everyone in the immediate area. Men, women, children, all were targets for this brutal attack by a coordinated group of nanny dogs? <laughs> Howdy, my name is Matthew Maldonado, and I am the proud owner of a pit bull named Rook, who is pictured here being comforted by my aunt because of the big, bad squirrels in the yard. And I'm here to talk about pit bulls being banned all over the world. Right now, pit bulls are banned in Brazil, Germany, Israel, Malta, and Puerto Rico, as well as certain cities in Louisiana, Kentucky, and all over the United States. The reasoning is sketchy at best, and outright discrimination at worst. Several so-called studies have been determined to see exactly how terrible these animals are, and many of these studies end up failing. One such study done in Pennsylvania found that in terms of sheer aggression towards people and other animals, dachshunds and chihuahuas were the most aggressive. Despite this fact, there are currently no places in the world that ban those breeds. The reason is because people refuse to change their opinion on the breed. Many of the breed's problems can be pinned down to two main points, attacks on people and the spread of misinformation. It's usually hard to figure out who's telling the truth and who is lying, but the main message you should get is this, pit bulls are not killing machines and should not be banned. The first thing that people point to when they argue against pit bulls is that they are known for biting and mauling children. In 2018, nine children were killed by pit bulls. But many of these deaths may involve breed misidentification. And five out of the nine times, people have confused a pit bull and a Rottweiler. This stat can still be misleading, however, as the question becomes, how many people in total are killed by dogs? Well, in 2016, there were 353,000 canine attacks with 31 deaths in the United States. However, the total count of murdering pit bulls was an impressive 19. More than half, but the question becomes why they attacked comes into play. Pit bulls are the most common dog breed in the US, more common than most car brands. And according to a study by Save a Bull Minnesota done in 2015, it showed that pit bulls are euthanized immediately in a shelter 93% of the time. And only one in 600 will ever find a loving home. And the ones that aren't in a loving home or aren't in a shelter, either roaming city streets or being used in dog fighting rings. Pit bulls are the number one fighting dog all over the world. And fighting rings are a huge problem in the United States, involving people from all walks of life, from regular people to office job salesmen, even to certain NFL players. And yet, despite all these factors against them, many people have reported that pit bulls are some of the most loving and caring pets that they've ever had. This continually goes to show how far their reputation precedes them in destroying people's opinions of them. Some believe pit bulls are a menace to society, but I say that the true menace is misinformation. Don't get me wrong, pit bulls are not angels. But many times, the spread of misinformation about them has been brutal. And with the addition of social media into society, and anyone can say whatever they want, the problem has only gone downhill. For example, a study done by Max Sparwazer Law Firm in South Carolina to determine which breed was the most aggressive found that pit bulls rank number 80 in dog breeds, with the Bearded Collie, the Shih Tzu, and the Pembroke Corgi being more aggressive. Impressive, right? Well, a study done by dogsbite.org, uh, they show that in, in a 13-year data set, 54 cases involved a dog killing its primary owner. And pit bulls inflicted 63% of these deaths over eight times more than any other breed. Seems suspicious, doesn't it? How could a breed be so low on the level of aggression and yet so high in unprovoked killing? 
The cold truth is that somebody's lying and it's almost impossible to tell who. It's much easier to share a statistic than to research it. The problem with this repeated misinformation if you're only sharing facts that you agree with, does nothing but hurt whatever the statistic is about, in this case, pit bulls. Time and time again, pit bulls are treated as the heel of all dog breeds. Pit bulls must take blame for attacks, and misinformation is destroying the breed's reputation. For a society that treats news as a commodity, where the first person who reports it is the most important source, it's no surprise that misinformation would come up, but the problem is the vast amount of it. Few people ever walk the line, as pit bulls as a topic are one of the most polarizing ones. Because of this, both sides tend to argue only for their side and refuse to even give a point to the other side. But here's the truth that reigns true based solely on attacks on humans, that pit bulls, should we ban them, we should brand every other dog breed that has had a recorded attack. And if that's the way you want to do it, are we really going to start taking dogs away from children? Or are we going to understand that it's impossible to blame a dog for being mistreated and then lashing out? I believe it is ironic that a society that prides itself on siding with a victim would choose to ban this one instead.